You know, so I'm here in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. We're in elevation roughly 4,000 feet in this gypsum canyon. We've talked about edaphic endemism. That's when a species of plant is restricted to a certain soil type uh, that results from a certain geology. And gypsum is a great example. You get serpentine in California, you get sand dunes, you get lateritic soils, you get limestone endemics. These are gypsum endemics. But what makes this so bizarre is that this is a carnivorous plant gypsum endemic. Now, what induces plants to be carnivorous? Soil deficiencies, nutrient deficiencies in the soils. And gypsum can be very chemically and mechanically stressful for plants to grow. And you can see it's got this very hard crust. Uh, yet when it gets wet, it turns kind of soft. Right now, it just feels like a bad batch of concrete. But anyway, I'll shut up. Let's check out this carnivorous plant. It's fucking bizarre as hell. You're looking at Pinguicula gypsicola, and you can see it's just covering this whole hillside right here, this whole steep slope with the litany of cool fern species. Got a yucca species, got all those cool chylanthoid ferns like you see right there, and as well as right there. All right, chylanthoid ferns, they're xeric ferns. They're drought-tolerant desert ferns. But uh, this thing is bizarre as hell. So this is, during the summer, during the summer rainy season, this is a, a somewhat wet seep. And uh, that's what enables this ping to grow here, this pinguicula. Uh, but you can see it's got those dew-like leaves, those, those trichomes with the little sticky bits on them, which bugs get stuck to. And that's how it compensates for the nitrogen deficiencies in the soil. Now, when these things flower, they send up, uh, you know, what looks like a little uh, bilaterally symmetrical flower. Oh, you got a little tiny lobelia over there. Uh, and you can see why wow, they're going up the whole thing. They send up a flower, and it's got a little nectar spur. They're not flowering right now. They're actually just about to take on their winter leaves. Their winter leaves during the winter dry season, because it's dry here in Mexico during the winter, uh, are those rosettes. But during the summer rainy season, they get these long octopus-like tentacles that, uh, you know, they, well, they attract, the, they attract the bugs. They get all little flies and shit stuck to them. Right here, we got some Selaginella gypsicola, another gypsum endemic. It's not a fern. They call it a resurrection fern. It's a common name, but it's actually a lycophyte. It's an ancestor of some of the, uh, or a relative of some of the, uh, the first, a descendant of some of the first uh, trees to evolve during the Carboniferous. Tons of interesting shit here, though. Look at these pings, man. Look at that. Just ensconced in the hillside, looking like they belong underwater in some sort of damn coral reef. Carnivorous gypsum endemic plants. You don't see that kind of shit every day. And again, that's their winter leaves, those, those little tight rosettes, those tight compact rosettes to wait out the dry winter and wait for the summer rains. And once the summer rains get going, they put on those more tentacle-like leaves and, uh, and then they'll flower. You got all kinds of cool hectias and shit up there too. A bromeliad trying to be an agave. Very, very, very sharp and spiny leaf margins. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.